John Congemi here with Dolphins defensive end Andre Branch in this one-on-one -on -one brought to you by Baptist Health South Florida. And Andre, string of victories in a row, starting to get momentum, especially on the defensive side. You guys chasing Colin Kaepernick all over the field. What was that like, number one, and how much emotion uh, did you guys build in that game getting to that climactic victory, you know, that last play coming out on top? Um, you know, Colin Kaepernick is a good player. Very, very fast. Uh, we had to rush smart. We knew that going into the game. Um, he slipped out a few times. Uh, we got to go watch the film and learn from it and then keep going, keep going for it. Does it make you brush a passer a, a little bit differently when you know a guy can escape that easily? And now moving to this week in Baltimore and Joe Flacco, you kind of have the opposite deal, but still can be dangerous because he's going to stay in there till the last possible second to make a play. Two totally different rush plans. You know, um, facing a Colin Kaepernick or a Tyrod Taylor, we have a, a rush plan and we have to stick to it. And if not, then, you know, he, uh, he can slip out. So uh, with those guys, you, you have to uh, prepare all week for that. Um, now, Flacco is not as elusive as Colin Kaepernick, but he has a great arm. So we'll watch the film and get ready for the Ravens. I was watching you rush the passer late in that fourth quarter. It seems like you went to every weapon you could find in your toolbox to try to get there. You bull rushed. You speed rushed up the outside. You tried to give a defensive move to the inside. Uh, what makes you at your best late in game? Is it your conditioning? Is it your uh, going over schemes? Is it knowing your opponent? What do you have to do to be effective late in the game? I think it starts with my preparation in the offseason, you know, I, I prepare myself to get ready for these type of games all offseason. And then um, I just look at the film and know my opponent and know his weaknesses and his strengths. And then I attack them. How much momentum have you guys built up over this winning streak, especially on the defensive side? Do you guys feel like you're clicking close to your potential or do you still have more room there? It's always room for improvement. Uh, it's a great win streak. Uh, we just got to keep the momentum going and um, just keep getting better each and every day. And uh, like our recipe is to take it week by week and win the week. So um, that's our mindset, and that's what we're going to keep doing. Well, Andre, good luck this week at Baltimore. and wish you nothing but the best, buddy. Thank you so much. You got it.